Hey guys, good morning. Good to be with you. We're talking about the beauty of breath prayers. Breath prayers are those one-line prayers that as we pray them during the course of the day, that what we say to ourselves is the most important conversation we could possibly have. And we start talking positive things about who God is and what He is like and what He can do. And we, we say the same thing in different shapes and forms and it just embeds itself in our psychology and we begin to live out what we've been telling ourselves. Now, when you only have one truth at the end of a day, that's a powerful thought. Yesterday, we spoke about Psalm 63, verse six, verse three, sorry, it says, because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. The next verse is equally as beautiful. It says this, I will praise you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. Now, we spoke yesterday about the, the love that exists long after life has gone. And now he's saying, I will praise you as long as I have breath. As long as I'm able to breathe and able to declare my love for you, I am going to praise you for as long as this life lives. But the key line for us today, I would like to think, is the word that says, in your name. In your name. You see, in your name is a popular theme throughout the Bible. It was in the name of Jehovah that David stood in front of Goliath and says, I come to you not with a sword or with a shield. I come to you with a name, the name Jehovah. The name of God is a powerful name. There's no other name under heaven or earth by which you can be saved. We see the power of that name in Moses when Moses stood at the burning bush and God introduced himself to him and says, I am who I am. And through the name of God and the reputation that God has that stands behind that name, we see how Moses was so effective for the kingdom and for the cause of what God had caused him to do because he understood the name name. Now the name is, of God is not just a, a name. It's just, just a, a thing we, we tag on so we know who we're talking about. The name of God stands for so much. Now Moses, in the name of God, delivered the children of Israel. The name of God is our ultimate authority. The name of God is our ultimate power. We all know that it tells us in the scriptures that at the name of Jesus one day, every knee is going to bow on heaven and in earth and declare that he is Lord. That's every knee, people. So I would suggest you rather bow your knee now than wait for that time where it may just be too late. At the name of Jesus, in his name, we have the victory. In his name, we're able to sustain our living. In his name, we're able to do all that he has called us to do. Don't do it in my name. Don't do it in the church's name. Don't do it in your own name. In the name of Jesus and the authority that that name carries and the beauty that that name has as it expresses who God is, that people is the power of God in us to be who God wants us to be and to do what God wants us to do. And then he says, as a response to the name of God, he says, I will lift up my hands. That's an act of worship. I sometimes wonder why we lift our hands. And I think sometimes I heard one guy explain, it says that when somebody comes in with a gun and says, hey, I'm gonna arrest you, what do you do? You surrender, you surrender. You put your hands in and say, hey, take whatever you want, do whatever you like, I surrender. And the sign is that of the raising of hands. Sometimes it's just a beautiful expression of an overwhelming sense of joy and an overwhelming sense of, of, wow, man, this is who God is. But David is unashamedly saying, I lift my hands in the praise of a God who I know loves me, a God who died for me in our sense. David didn't know that that was going to happen then. But we lift our hands in praise to him as being the name of our ultimate authority. We bow to him. We raise our hands and surrender to him. I hope that makes sense for you today because this is the response to who God is. When God arrests you, that's a good word. When God arrests you, first thing we do is we raise our hands in surrender to this amazing, great and awesome God. I hope that makes sense. Let's pray that prayer, breath prayer today. I will praise you as long as I live and in your name 
I will lift my hands in worship. Maybe you need two breaths to take that one, but we'll do that one today. Have a great day, guys. Bye.